LPT use the two-minute rule to tackle procrastination. If you're prone to procrastination, try using the two-minute rule to get things done. The rule is simple if a task takes two minutes or less to complete, do it immediately. This can include small tasks such as responding to an email, making a phone call, or putting away laundry. By tackling these small tasks right away, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment and momentum to keep going. Plus, you'll be surprised how much you can get done in just a few minutes. So, the next time you're feeling stuck or unmotivated, try the two-minute rule and watch your productivity soar. Putting away laundry taking two minutes, that's some speedy work lol. I do agree though, in my head I call it the just do it now. It really does help to complete some quick little tasks right when they come up. I'll read this later. Cries in executive dysfunction. If the task takes more than 5 seconds it has germs and then I won't do it. I'm not sure I understand what the tip is. If I would just do it immediately, I wouldn't be prone to procrastination. Remember, procrastination is a mechanism to save you from hurting yourself. It listens to that negative voice and helps you avoid the negatively anticipated outcome of doing or finishing the task. Useful when it's helping you avoid being eaten by a tiger. Not so useful when it's helping you avoid a task which you believe you are not going to be good at and then feel negative. Thought this one was going to be the video game trick. If you've ever got your brain filled with jumbled thoughts and ideas of too many tasks at once, try closing your eyes. Imagine running through a video game level you are well familiar with for a couple minutes clears out the other noise in your mind and lets you focus on the task at hand. What a great tip now how do I stop procrastinating two minute tasks? Do you only own one shirt and like three socks? Me okay sure, I'll make a phone call then. Proceeds to stare at the phone for 30 minutes straight and ends up not even calling due to sheer amount of anxiety. Task failed successfully. Thanks I'm cured. I'm not sure for whom this works, but if just do it he he worked for me I would be doing everything and wouldn't need advice on it. Doesn't matter if it takes 2 seconds or 2 years, my problem is that I don't do it. How is do it helping? This risks emphasizing low priority easy tasks over higher priority difficult tasks. I'd recommend prioritizing matters based on their relative importance, not on the amount of time it take to complete the task. A better way of utilizing this anti-procrastination technique would be to break a large priority job into its many constituent parts, each of which can be completed relatively quickly. There are three ways I've found that work for me 1. Doing the smallest amount possible, 2. Diverting my attention to something else, and 3 time boxing it. An example of one is doing just one dish, or folding just one piece laundry. I find that once I start doing it once, I do more since the momentum gets going. Two would be when I put on music or a podcast or YouTube and do the chore so my focus is not on the chore but on the audio video. Three is similar to what this LPT says where I decide I'm going to do something for X minutes only. I use this rule at work to get nothing accomplished by lunch. Pro tip if you cannot get things done, just get things done. You underestimate my ability to turn a 2 minute task into a 10 minute one. I have ADHD so this doesn't work for me. I'll be stuck doing whatever it is and then the thousand other things that pop up either in the immediate vicinity or completely unrelated for ages. It'll sometimes be literal hours into the night and be dawn by the time I stop. However, I will also just forget the small task was if I don't at least immediately add it to my notes or to-do list. My version of this is the 10 minute cleanup. 10 minutes, or the time it takes to play 3 songs, clean as much random stuff as I can. Usually by the end of the third song I'm already into it and decide to just keep going. There's another two minute rule for larger tasks. If you're struggling with a big task, or with motivation for anything, exercising, practicing something, learning, work etc., 
you commit to doing it for two minutes. With no pressure on yourself to do any more. Often, after the two minutes you'll start to feel a focus on the task and find yourself carrying on. If you don't carry on, you will have given yourself a start which makes the task feel easier the next time you try it. What if you're a turtle and most tasks that create cognitive friction will actually take much longer than two minutes? Just do it now. Thanks, I'm cured. Two minutes. I love your optimism, it's so sparkly. This trick always backfires on me, smiley face. This never worked for me, granted I have ADHD, but it becomes so arbitrary after a while that the brain just sees tasks that can be done later as they only take two minutes. There is a trick though, that I found worked for me. If you have a bunch of tasks in the way, remind yourself genuinely how long they take. Doing the laundry, 10 minutes and I'm done, meal prep, 30 minutes, done, can listen to music during. Just makes tasks a lot more compartmentalized and become a lot easier to do as a result. I also use the two minutes agreement for things that will take longer than two minutes. Do you need to clean the kitchen? Will it take longer than two minutes? Okay, set a timer and commit to clean the kitchen for two minutes right now, you can stop when the timer goes off. Starting is the hardest part, so once you have started you may decide to work through the timer, or you may decide to do something else productive for the next two minutes. Have ADHD wouldn't work. I would just end up forgetting my primary task and moved on to my secondary task as the minor task took up too much of my attention span and I just delete the first task out of my head, until I'm reminded at the very last hours of my day when I go to sleep. The stress never ends, embarrassed smiley face, smiley face. This advice sounds good but the problem is that it gets abused as a crutch. Yes it is helpful for people who procrastinate the small things, but more often than not, people procrastinate the big hairy things that become progressively more tangled and more difficult to solve. These are the tasks that take much longer than two minutes. So, you end up doing many of the small things in order to procrastinate the big problems. I feel like it takes me at least an hour to do anything. The problem is the problem. Lol nothing takes two minutes to complete. Maybe pick my nose. Laughs in executive dysfunction. Love how all motivation advice boils down to just be motivated. Responding to an email the most time I did this earlier today it took about 20 minutes. Making a phone call most phone calls that I make are going to take much longer. If I knew they would be shorter, either it's urgent in which case procrastination is no longer a factor or I am going to send a text message instead. Putting away laundry 10 to 15 minutes, minimum. As a bonus you'll feel a sense of accomplishment and momentum to keep going. Have you met ADHD? Stupid posts like this are why this sub sucks. GTD mentions. Excellent book and pretty helpful with time management. The book is called Getting Things Done, by David Allen. It gives you a better explanation of what to lay and plan out all your todos. There are a bunch of videos on if you want to see what it's about before you invest time and money on the book. I've used it with tweaks here and there for years. I call this the egg timer rule. Hmm let's see, I've got 4,231 small things to do today, so that should only take me about 8,462 minutes easy peasy. I will read your tips later. This is kinda what I did with my dishes. I know I can knock them out in under 5 minutes. Just do it. Then no one is whining later they are not done. I think it's better to do at least 2 minutes of anything, than only doing things that take 2 minutes. Give me 2 minutes and I'll get back to it. Processing your mail is a good example. Ok, I'll do it in 2 minutes. I need a 20 minute rule. I postpone for 2 minutes, then for 10 minutes, and keep increasing my pace. Then, once I have built up momentum, I continue for as long as possible.